Hi everyone. Today we are going to revise the poem Dust of Snow by Robert Frost. The Dust of Snow is a beautiful short poem written by Frost where snow here not only means the snowflakes that you enjoy in winter but it is a symbolic of death. By the means of this poem the poet wants to make us understand the beliefs that we have in our life and how something that is considered to be a sign of ill omen or something that is considered to be inauspicious can also bring happiness in our life so let us begin but before we start with the poem let me brief you with the poet robert frost was an american poet who wrote most of his work uh, in america and got to popularity as an american poet although his uh, work was published initially in england but then he received much fame as an american poet now about the poem dust of snow it's a short poem written by frost and it tells about the simple moments uh, that we have in our life and that can have larger significance in our life it also tells us about the human judgment and how certain issues can be misleading to us the poet also explains that how an act as petty as experiencing snow on one's body can even brighten up one's day so robert frost was basically a nature lover and in this poem he has described nature as the bringer of happiness how a simple act of crow of uh, throwing snow at him has has changed his mood and has brightened up his day let us begin with the poem the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day i had dreamed so in this first paragraph the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree here the poet describes a scene where he is walking and is in a bad mood and is walking by a tree and as soon as he walks by that hemlock tree that is considered to be a poisonous tree a crow happens to throw some snow dust on him and the moment the dust of snow falls on his head and his shoulder he notices that uh, his mood has changed so by the means of that uh, crow throwing snow on him he wants to make us understand that even the that animal that is considered to be a sign of omen has brought a change in his mood and uh, although that crow did it uh, it is not clear why that crow did that whether it was landing on that tree whether it was shivering with cold or or whether it was readjusting itself on the branch of the tree or trying to take off it is unclear but it happened to send some particles of snow upon the author and here we can notice that there were two agents that were sign of gloominess and sadness one is the hemlock tree which is considered to be a poisonous tree and the other one is the crow that is considered to be a sign of ill omen then in the second paragraph has given my heart a change of mood and save some part of a day i had dreamed in this second paragraph he gives reason that how how his uh, terrible day uh, has turned to a bright day and how his mood has changed the moment the crow uh, threw that sto- uh, snow on him and uh, that had saved his whole day from uh, from uh, being sad and uh, like depressive so he wants to make us understand that although hemlock tree and crow are used as for negative references but here the poet used them beautifully to portray that how these inauspicious things have actually brought joy and happiness to him and that one must not take such things for granted and should be open and accept whichever way nature chooses to bless us right now coming to the imagery is used in the poem one is the crow that i told you is considered to be inauspicious and is symbolic of death same is the case for snow it is also considered to be a sign of death and inactivity whereas hemlock tree uh, being a poisonous tree also symbolizes to be inauspicious and uh, a sign of ill omen now we will do it one by one 
Now the crow, considered as an inauspicious creature, a harsh, dark and ugly bird, symbolizes death. Hemlock tree, on the other hand, a poisonous tree with white flowers, also symbolizes death and it is also an evergreen tree which remains green throughout winter. So, this, in this manner, hemlock tree does not only symbolizes death but also the rebirth and regeneration of things and rebirth and regeneration of life. Then at last, no hair is again symbolic of death as it is set in winter when everything seems to be death and silent. Right. So that was all about the poem. I hope you've understood. Thank you.